Welcome to our video where we'll be introducing Osaka Castle and the Osaka Jo Gozabun boat. Osaka Castle is one of Japan's most famous landmarks and is a must visit destination for any traveler to Japan. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the history of the castle, show you how to get there, and give you some tips on how to make the most of your visit. The castle was originally built in 1583 by Toyotomi Hideyoshi, one of Japan's most famous samurai warriors and a powerful feudal lord who unified Japan after centuries of civil war. The castle served as his residence and a symbol of his power. Over the centuries, the castle went through many changes and suffered significant damage during World War II. The castle that stands today was built in 1931 and is a replica of the original castle. It's still an impressive structure though, with a five-story main tower and a beautiful moat and park surrounding it. Visitors to Osaka Castle can explore the castle's many floors and exhibits, which showcase the history and culture of Osaka and Japan. A helpful tip for exploring the castle's interior is to first take the lift to the roof. You can take in panoramic views of the city from the castle's observation deck and then use the stairs to visit each floor and see the exhibits and historical displays. By doing this, you can avoid having to climb the stairs and conserve your energy. The castle's design is a classic example of Japanese castle architecture known as Hirajiro. This style features a central keep surrounded by several concentric rings of walls, creating a complex system of defense. The walls were built using a technique called kirikomi, where stones were cut to fit together without the use of mortar. This technique made the walls stronger and more resilient to attacks. The castle's central keep is the most striking feature of its architecture. It stands five stories tall and is surrounded by a roofed corridor called Yagura. The roof of the central keep is adorned with golden shachi, which are mythical creatures with the heads of tigers and the bodies of carp. The shachi were believed to protect the castle from fire and other disasters. Osaka Castle isn't the only attraction in the area. Just a short walk away is the Osaka Jo Gozabun Boat, a traditional boat ride that takes you around the moat of the castle. The boats are modeled after the boats used by Toyotomi Hideyoshi and his men, giving visitors a unique glimpse into the castle's history. The Osaka Jo Gozabun Boat takes visitors on a 20-minute tour of the moat. You'll get to see the castle from a different perspective, and the boat ride is a relaxing way to spend some time during your visit. If you want to take good photos of the castle on the moat, a useful tip is to sit on the left-hand side of the boat. However, if you want to appreciate the beauty of the cherry blossom lining the moat, you can choose to sit on the right-hand side of the boat. Trust me, it is right, because as soon as the boat starts, it will turn around within a few minutes and head towards the other end of the moat. The Osaka Jo Gozabun boat operates daily from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and the ticket price is 1,500 yen per person. You can purchase tickets at the boat dock, which is located near the park's Nishinomaru Garden. The Osaka Castle entry fee is 600 yen, but if you possess an Osaka Amazing Pass, both the Castle and Osaka Jo Gozabun boat can be accessed free of charge. To learn more about saving money on an Osaka trip with the Osaka Amazing Pass, check out my last video on the end screen. Now, let's talk about how to get to Osaka Castle. The castle is located in the Chuo Ward of Osaka. The castle is surrounded by five stations. If you're coming from the west side of the castle, you can take the purple Tanamachi line to either Tanabashi Station 22 or Tanamaki Yonchim Station 23, or take the green Chu line to Tanimaki Yonkon Station 18. These trains are operated by Osaka Metro. However, if you are coming from the east of the castle, you can take the light green Nagaho Ride Sura Mariokuchi line to Osaka Business Park Station 21 or Morinomiya Station 20, or take the green Chu line to Morinomiya Station County 19. These two are also operated by Osaka Metro. If you are traveling on the Japan Railway GR, you have the option to take the red Osaka Loop line to either the Osaka Jokoen Station or the Morinomiya Station. From these five stations, it's just a short walk to the castle. 
The entry to the castle is located here, and the Osaka Joe Gozubon Boat Pier is situated at the back of the castle, running along this moat. If you have enough time, you can also visit the Osaka Castle Nishinomaru Garden, which has free entry with the Osaka Amazing Pass. This informative transportation map is embedded in my travel plan under the Osaka Castle Transportation tile in the itinerary section. It comes in handy for planning your trip or for use on the day of your travel. This comprehensive travel plan will be shared for free in the final video of my Japan trip. That's it for our tour of Osaka Castle and Gozabun Boat. To learn how to visit these spots for free, please watch my previous video about the Osaka Amazing Pass. It will explain how to maximize your savings with the pass and provide some travel tips you need to know. Thank you for watching. I'll see you at the next attraction in Osaka.